So, no cinematic vlog today. I just came back from our road trip with Sansa. I was on the road for seven days now. Only me and her. And we went down to the Austrian, the German Austrian border. And yeah, we spent a couple of nice days. And we slept in our roof tent. And I just captured some footage along the way because I want to do a short highlight video of all these days. So, and then yesterday I started a Q&A on my Instagram. So I saw that about 90% of your questions were about lenses and which lens to get and which lens to buy. So I thought, okay, let's do a short video of my favorite lenses, which I'm using right now for filmmaking and photography. So we will talk about some crop lenses, we will talk about some full frame lenses. And also I'm going to show you my favorite combo right now, which I use all the time on the trip. So let's go. Aus, ab jetzt. Okay, so let's start with some crop lenses. The first lens I highly recommend to everyone who's starting off filmmaking on an APS-C Sony camera is the Sigma 30mm 1.4. I think everyone knows this lens. I shot almost half of my videos only with this lens. It gives you great bokeh, it has 1.4 aperture. It's super crisp and the price is definitely okay. It's about 380, I think, yeah. So this lens is perfect for getting a bit more close-up shots like I think it's quite an all-round lens to use for so many situations and yeah I love it it's my favorite lens I started with this lens two years ago on this channel the only downside of this lens is manual focusing it it, it just doesn't work it it's, it's terrible if you're looking for a lens which you can use on set or maybe you just want to use manual focusing then you should definitely consider the 35 mil 1.8 by Sony. It also has a great depth of field, but it's better at focusing in general. Yeah. So let's go on. What else do you need for filmmaking? Especially when it comes to travel filmmaking or whatever kind of filmmaking, I think you need a wide angle lens. And what I can recommend and what I'm using right now is the 10 to 18 f4 right here. So it's definitely not the cheapest lens, it's about $700. Um, but I think it's it's worth the money because it's sharp. It has a perfect focal range for wide-angle shots, filmmaking, and photography. Only downside f4, but that's Sony, and yeah, I don't know. I think they want to make it compact like this. If you would put a 2.8 into this one, this could be so small. So uh, yeah, but if you're shooting on a day, it's perfect and it does a great job. So I'm using this often for wide landscape shots where I want to put all the scenery into the image. And now we're coming to my new favorite combo, which I used all the time on this trip. And that's the Sigma Arch 18 to 35 1.8. This lens is just insane. I mean, everyone knows that the Sigma Arch series is one of the sharpest lenses out there. And together with the MC11, you can just use it on your E-mount camera. Because usually it's for Canon, but with the MC11, it adapts to your e-mount. And what I didn't expect is that the autofocus is so fast in video mode, at least in video mode. For photos, it takes about one second to find the spot, but in video mode, it's so insane. At least on the A6500, um, I just use this with AF all the time. So on this trip, we were outside, we, it was raining, we had fog, we had so bad weather conditions and this lens just nailed the focus all the time. I, I don't know what changed because I heard that the old firmware didn't work well. And also on the A6000 or A6300, it's not the best, but on the A6500, I only can say that it's perfect. It's all I need. It's not the lightest lens, but I can live with that because it's definitely the sharpest lens I ever used on an APS-C camera. And another thing I really like about this is you can use it for some macro shots also because I just tested it to film a subject which was about two centimeters away from the lens and it works perfectly. So this is the new combo I love the most right now. And all the scenes you will see in the Austria video are gonna shot with this. I only took the wide angle lens for two shots and the rest is all 
with this baby here. And also for photography, this is awesome. I um, just took this with me to Lake Ipe, Ipsy, and uh, put it down on the tripod with a 6500 connected to the really shitty Play Memories camera app from Sony. And I took this shot of me. If you got the budget to spend about $700 for the lens and another 250 on the adapter, it's definitely worth it. So that's it with the crop lenses. Now let's go over to the full frame lenses. But if you're filming on a crop camera, you should definitely stay tuned because the other lenses I'm gonna show you right now will also work on your Sony a6200. The only thing is that they get closer. Yeah, let's go. So this was also a most asked question, which camera I'm using more, the a7S II or the a6500? And I can only say I'm using the a6500 80% of the time because the focus is simply much better. I hate the autofocus of the a7S II uh, and that makes run and gun filming really hard. So, but it's a great camera and you definitely get that full frame look on your footage and also on images. I also take a lot of photos with this one, even if it's only 12 megapixels, it's, the quality is, is insane. I cannot recommend to buy the a7S II this year, because I think Sony will release an a7S III or a7R III soon. So better go for the a6500 or another crop camera and invest in some good lenses instead of body. Anyway, okay, so here's the combo. I'm using the most with my a7S II, it's the 24 to 70 GM 2.8. So I have to say that's a big lens and it also has a big price. I bought it in Andorra because it was 300 bucks off and even so I paid about 2100 euro, which is almost the same in dollar. So I can't say anything bad about this lens, the quality is insane. You get a nice bokeh because you're on a full frame with 2.8, it's like, I don't know, like 2.0 on crop, yeah. You got a zoom range, but I don't like this, that it comes out, yeah, because things can just go in here when you're shooting outdoors, but overall the quality is just insane. So if you want to spend the box, just go for it. It's, I think that's the only lens you need when you're in a full frame and you're doing landscape photography or, so even portraits work fine with this one, because at 70 mil you will get quite nice bokeh uh, at 2.8, so yeah. It's heavy, it has the AF and MF button here, like all the GMS lenses. Yeah, and you can also lock it, so it doesn't come out. Great lens, but way too heavy to hike. I took it with me on a hike in Verdun. That's just annoying to have this on your waist. It's real heavy. G Master Series, you can't do anything wrong with this. Even the 85 1.4, I just ran for a wedding, insane lens. But now let's come to the last one. So and that's the Samyang T1.5 85mm. Um, this lens I also got in Andorra because it was so cheap. It was about $300 and the quality of this is really, really good. The only downside, if you call it downside, it's manual. So, no AF, um, it's originally made for cinematography, so you have this brushless change in aperture. And if you turn on your focus peaking on your Sony camera, this is definitely way easier to work with than I thought. So there's another version of this one, the 1.4, which my friend Stefan is using for wedding shots and portraits all the time, and he's so happy with this lens. Um, I think Zamyang is doing a great job for this price, so um, and I'm excited to see the AF lenses soon because I want to get my hands on one. So that's it with my lenses. That's all I'm using right now. I hope it's now a bit easier for you to grab the glass you need. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. If you want to support me, you can purchase your lenses through my Amazon link. I cannot give you the exact links to the lenses because Amazon US just kicked me off its um, affiliate program, but somehow the link still works. I don't know how this can be possible. You won't pay more and you can support me too that way. Yeah. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram where I'm doing a lot of photography right now and somehow I'm, I'm more into photography right now than filmmaking and maybe this will change, but right now I 
love to get some cool photos. Um, yeah. So I just now have to edit the Austria video. I, I, I shot about 200 gigabytes, so this will take a while. So see you soon, and if you have any questions, or maybe you got some other lenses you highly recommend to others, just start to discuss in the comments. And so, off to dog training, let's go. Thank you.